from this option you can have a separate focal length for a prime lens like this one I have 35 mm this is if I use the crop factor it will become around 50 mm so this is really cool feature Hello everyone, this is Amir from Framistry. I will show my top 10 settings for mirrorless camera. I will show it with my Sony Alpha 7 III. And this is my Sony Alpha 7 III with my favorite lens. This is 35mm Sigma Art lens. This is really cool lens. Okay, let's turn it on. From here we will go to Set off. And we'll reset. To default one. I'm just resetting it from the very beginning. My language English. Set area and times. I will go to my time zone. Time zone set. Date and time. This is 20. Seven one. Okay. Okay. So now we we'll start with very beginning. This is our first one. This is basically for photograph or image quality. At first. This is very basic. We always shoot in raw format. As backup, we will do it in JPEG. If we don't have any urgent work, for urgent work, we can do JPEG. So we'll do always shoot in raw format. Okay. And here I don't have anything to do. And this is my one of favorite option this is APS-C or super 35 mm this option will help to get different focal length as like i have 35 mm but if i use the crop option it will make it around 50 mm i will get the 1.5 mm crop factor magnification i have 35 mm this is if I use the crop factor, it will become around 50 mm. So this is really cool feature. As like I have two lens with this body, I can shoot 35 mm and and around 50 mm due to this option. Okay, this one is my favorite. And I'll go to next. Here is nothing to do. Drive mode. And end of the tutorial, I will show this option. This is called recall. I will set a free preset for the my videography option. I will set it later. And here I have nothing to do. This is very important. This is my second most favorite option. This is focus mode. From here, we will select what kind of focus mode we want. This is autofocus single shot, this is autofocus and this is autofocus continue. This one for the continuous focus, especially this one good for pedography. Whenever I go for, and this is totally manual, whenever I go for pedography, I mostly do with AFC and 
f s and my, for my photography i also shoot the this one f s okay this, this is will next we'll go to focus area this is my third option what i do is change for bibliography we'll choose wide and for photography we'll put it to flexible spot or this one okay flexible ribbon or flexible spot for photography we'll try to get anyone from here spot and for bibliography we'll choose focus area wide and this is the most exciting part of sony camera this is the face or if set we like it so much we will keep it on and also this one this is also available for animal normally we keep it as a human whenever we go for birding or any other sorting photography wildlife photography we will set it as animal okay here we don't have nothing to do this all are okay nothing here and this is my another favorite setting this is pixel profile from here i mostly use pp2 for videography and you can try 7 and 8 for videography but i mostly do it pp2 this is really cool and this is videography option from here we will get the 4k and 1080 format because I mostly do for YouTube videography or I mostly shoot for YouTube I do 4k and HD depend on my requirement and recording setting I mostly set it 2550 because as I shoot mostly for YouTube I don't need high high file size but you can try with 100p and 100 m or 160 m you will get better file size and data yeah we don't have anything another important factor this is the audio level to set the audio level i have to check the this is remote I will set it for video and now I'll, I'll show it to you you have to set up the, your audio level to if you use external microphone you make it less than 10 I prefer 7 or 8 to get better result uh, if you record with only mic of camera then you can go it around 20 or 25 okay next you can turn it on when noise reducted everything is okay so far nothing here This is another my favorite option. This is grid line. I most of the time I use rule of third. This is really important to make your video or photo horizon or composition. You always do it. Next, and this is one other, and this is another important feature. This is the custom key. From here we can 
set your custom key this button you can make it customization and this one this customized key for photography and this customized key for videography you can make this key as your customize or choice and this is another cool feature this one this is available to switch your shutter and aperture button because mostly this camera follow the canon camera as like canon in this one for the shutter speed and this one for aperture but if you if you are nikon user you can change the setting you can choose top one okay and the, this is another my favorite option if you want to connect your camera with a smartphone you have to keep it on and from connection option you can get the connection from here and you can keep this option on but it will consume your more battery but I prefer it will be off and whenever I record I can come to this option and make it on and connection with my smartphone there is nothing in playback mode we have nothing to do from setting here we can make the monitor brightness or darkness but it is always better to keep it as default otherwise if we make it too bright later on we will find our photograph or videograph is dark so better make it standard I'll go to next display quality make it high to get better resolution and touch up version yes and you can select touch up version touch pad only touch panel only I always keep it both I don't have anything here and this is my another favorite option this is recording media setting what normal I do I always shoot into card and I go to last one this sort one card will shoot photograph and one videograph so it will easy for me to sort out later on next so I have done my top 10 setting but in addition to what I do I there is another option this is a star you can make your customized setting from here like if you want to add anything just add an item what I can do I can pick anyone from all this list like AFC this is my favorite one I just got it here okay now if I go there this is here this is my favorite my menu I can personally make my own favorite list here as I told earlier I'll show how to save for recall option this is a recall one and two now I'll show how to use recall option At first we'll go to video actually I use recall option for videography I'll set it 4k option this is 4k from here mostly I do 4k and SD for my YouTube work and from here I will pick one of the resolution or video quality I prefer 2560 mm because I don't want too much data for my YouTube video if you have very big project you can make it 2500 m so 
pepper and go for the gold it. Now what do you have? We have four k here. So from here I will set the rest. From here I will set my picture profile. I prefer PP2 because I like this color. From here we will change it as manual to get the best result. I will set my ISO around. 400 and shutter speed I will make it 50 as I have put the 25 frame rate as it will be double of frame rate and up. aperture I prefer 2.20 or 0 so I have got all the configuration as I want it now I will go to our first menu from here we will set it as recall menu okay I will set it one you can make it two enter register so now I will check as it work or not I'll go to one and let's check so we have got all our setting as pp2 fork option autofocus continue and from here you will start your photography if you want to change anything you can change from here also but this is your starting point so that was all for today for this kind of useful tutorial please stay with us if you have any question regarding this feel free to ask in comment section thank you for watching see you in next tutorial